Emmett W. Chappelle. Born 1925, died 2019. African-American biochemist. With at least 13 patents to his credit, Emmett W. Chappelle has made significant findings in several fields within biology and chemistry. Perhaps his most important contribution was the discovery that a readily available combination of chemicals can make living organisms emit light, a quality called bioluminescence. He developed this idea originally to test for life on Mars. Chappelle's other interests include iron metabolism in mammalian body systems, methods for the quantitative analysis of proteins and amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, the utilization of carbon monoxide in green plants, interstellar molecules, and the analysis of large tracts of land using the spectrum emitted by its plant life. Chappelle was born on October 24, 1925, in Phoenix, Arizona. He grew up in poverty, beginning his education in a one-room school. Chappelle attended a segregated high school in Phoenix, graduating first in his small class in 1942. Upon graduation, Chappelle was drafted into the United States Army and fought in Europe during World War II. He returned to Phoenix in 1946 and entered Phoenix College's two-year program in electrical engineering. Chappelle graduated with his Associate of Arts degree in 1947. Soon after, he married Rosemary Phillips, his childhood sweetheart. They eventually had four children together. Using funding from the GI Bill, Chappelle entered the University of California, Berkeley in the fall of 1947, intending to continue his engineering studies. While at Berkeley, Chappelle found his interest shifting from engineering to biology. He eventually changed his major, earning his bachelor's degree in biology in 1950. After graduation, Chappelle spent two years in Nashville, Tennessee at Meharry Medical College, where he, where he was an instructor in biochemistry for nursing students. While at Meharry, Chappelle also did research of his own, including two studies using radioactive iron. He studied how red blood cells work, focusing on how they recycle iron. Chappelle measured levels of the radioactive iron in various organs and fluids to chart the, that process. Similarly, Chappelle studied anaphylactic shock, an extreme and sometimes fatal allergic reaction. By using radioactive iron and measuring its levels in various parts of the body, he determined that the body releases a chemical during anaphylactic shock, and that this chemical causes the lungs' air tubes to contract and restricts the ability to breathe. Chappelle's work drew the attention of graduate schools, and he moved his family to Seattle, where he studied the where he studied where he attended the University of Washington. While a graduate student, Chappelle continued to do original research. He studied the amino acids that, when linked, can form proteins. He found that when certain enzymes, biochemical catalysts, are introduced, an amino acid can regenerate into a different amino acid altogether. Chappelle was awarded his master's degree in 1954 and accepted an offer to do his doctoral work at Stanford University. At Stanford, he also worked as a research associate in the chemistry department from 1955 to 1958. He continued to research amino acids, discovering glycine discovering glycine, a key enzyme for amino acid production in both plants and animals. Chappelle also showed that glycine is exactly the same in both plants and animals and could be interchanged. At Stanford, Chappelle made another important discovery, that of a chemical that can predictably split protein molecule, chain, molecule chains by clipping the amino acids found at the ends of the chain. The clipped acids can be converted to another molecule type called aldehydes and used in other studies. Though Chappelle did not receive a degree, he decided to leave Stanford in 1958 and join the private sector. He was hired by the Research Institute of Advanced Studies, a part of the Martin Marietta Corporation, which designs both aircraft and spacecraft. 
While at the research institute in Baltimore, Maryland, Martin worked on using plants to ensure a safe air supply for astronauts. He determined that even one-celled plants can absorb enough carbon monoxide to make the air safe on the spacecraft. In 1963, Chappelle left the research institute to work for Hazleton Laboratories in Falls Church, Virginia. From 1963 to 1966, Chappelle worked as a biochemist at Hazleton Laboratories, which had a number of research contracts with NASA, including one to develop a method to determine if there was life on Mars. Chappelle helped design instruments for Viking, the spacecraft that would land on Mars, including an instrument that would detect, sorry, including an instrument that would collect soil samples. Chappelle came up with a way to test the soil for life by using three chemicals, one found in all living creatures and the other two extracted from fireflies. When mixed with soil containing any life, the chemical combination emits light. Chappelle's test was not used when Viking was launched in 1975, but he used the basic idea in other areas of his research, including counting cells. In 1966, Chappelle took a position at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, where he continued to use the light emission idea. He applied the concept to a method for detecting drinking water bacteria. He also used it to, to establish which parts of a farmer's field are growing the fastest. The faster crops grow, the more light they emit. Each plant also has a slightly different color, so a picture taken from space can show crop productivity. Chappelle also discovered that applying lasers can make cells produce more light, allowing for more accurate measurements. Other light sources can also be used. One such study of his concerned red spruce trees, one such study of his concerned red spruce trees, and he made a correlation between acid rain damage and chlorophyll's fluorescent spectrum. In addition to his numerous research studies, Chappelle worked from 1973 to 1974 as a consultant for the Applied Magnetics Corporation. From 1975 to 1977, Chappelle held a fellowship sponsored by NASA at Johns Hopkins University. During this period, he was unsuccessful in developing a test for the early signs of cancer. After the fellowship ended, Chappelle returned to his work with plants and light, helping the U.S. Department of Agriculture develop tests to improve food, food production by determining when crops need fertilizer and water. Chappelle is a member of the American Chemical Society, the New York Academy of Science, and the American Society of Photobiology. Citations and sources are in the description.